Greetings everyone. In this video, we will learn how you can add your website to Google Search Console and also submit a sitemaps to it. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now we will be adding the website Let's Learn WordPress.com to Google Search Console. So this is our new website. So let's add this site to the Search Console. Search Google Search Console. This is the one. Click on it. And then click on Start Now. We need to verify the ownership of our domain. There are two ways of doing it. One requires DNS verification, while this method allows various other ways. This method is much easier and faster. We can verify ownership just by using our website's dashboard or cPanel. So let's try this method. Let me copy the URL and paste it here and continue. Now we need to download this file and upload it to our website. Click here to download. The file has been downloaded. Show in folder and put this on the desktop. We need to upload this file to the server. You can either use cPanel or FTP, but we will only log in to the WordPress dashboard as it is much easier. Let me log in to the WordPress dashboard slash wp-admin and enter the credentials. So we are in the dashboard. Now to access our website files, we will need a plugin. Go to plugins and add new and search for file manager. We use this one, install it, and activate the plugin. You can see the plugin here, click on it. No thanks. So, this plugin gives access to all the files and folders of your website. If you do not want to install this file manager plugin, then you can only access all your files using cPanel as we did earlier or FTP. Anyway, let me close this. So we need to upload this file to our server. We can do this from this plugin. Click here. Select files. Choose file and open. So the file has been uploaded. Go back to the search console and click on verify. So we have verified the ownership. Let's go to the property. Start. So we are in the Google search console. The first thing you want to do here is at the site maps. Click on it. So, now we need to add the site maps. If you are using Yoast SEO plugin, this one, then it will create a site map for you. Click on Yoast SEO. Then, on General, which is this one, go to Features. Scroll down, and you will see XML site maps. Click here, and you will see the XML site maps. So here are the site maps which have posts, pages, portfolio, category and offer. However, for this website, I only want posts and pages on site maps. I do not want all these. So I will remove these from the site maps. Go to Yoast SEO. Click on Search Appearances. On Content Types. I want posts and pages too. This is off. On portfolio items, I want to turn this off and save changes. 
Likewise, on taxonomies, I do not want to show categories, so we'll turn this off. Let me check the site maps. Okay, I will turn the portfolio categories off too. And save changes. Let me refresh the site maps. Now only the author's site map is there. Please note that if you want all these to be found by search engines, you can simply submit them all. I do not plan to write anything except for posts and pages, which is why we are removing it from the site maps. Let me quickly remove the author as well. So it is under archives. We will turn this off and save changes. Let me refresh the site maps. Now it is page and posts only which is what we want. Again, please note you can choose what to add or remove on the site maps, but it is totally on the search engines to honor your request or not. Anyway, let me copy this site map and paste it here. In fact, you can delete this and click on Submit. Cut it. Status is a success. If I click here, you can see it has discovered our roles for pages and posts. It will gradually add roles in the future. Later you can check this core web vitals. Possibly after a few months. This will tell you if the URL is poor, needs improvement, or is good. Anyway, for the new site, you only need to submit site maps for now and see if it is successful or not. The URL will also come over here, later. Anyway, we hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.